Hello friends, I hope everyone is fine. In this video, we will talk about a very important topic. What is the difference between the PCR test and antibody test in regard with the COVID-19? And when we get it and how much it costs us for both of the tests? Let's start with the PCR test. The full name of the uh, test is the real-time uh, polymerase chain reaction. And sometimes we also call it RT-RT-PCR, a real-time reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction. Now, in this test, we take the swab from the nasopharynx or we call it the nasopharyngeal swab. And this is then uh, taken to the lab and where it is, uh, it undergoes certain processes. And the end of the, at the end of that process, we come to know if the viral RNA is present or is absent. So it takes uh, around like 48 hours for the results to come back. This is a very, very important test for the initial diagnosis of the COVID-19 because it can detect the virus uh, after one day or two day of its entry into our body. So this is a very important basic diagnostic test, but it can cost high like it in Pakistan, it, it costs around like 8,000 to 10,000 per test and it will take a couple of days for the results to come back. But there is a very important downside of the test that it cannot make a difference between the dead viral uh, RNA and the living viral RNA. So as uh, I already told, this is one of the most important initial diagnostic test, but it should not be repeated very oftenly because of this uh, problem. So PCR test is uh, a very uh, important test. Now let's talk about the uh, antibody test. Rapid antibody test is done for two purposes. Firstly, it tells us about the past exposure of the patient to the virus. And secondly, it also explains how much uh, strength the immune system has got. Because our immune system, when it comes across the virus, it creates two types of the antibodies. One is the immunoglobulin M, which it generates within the first 8 to 10 days or 5 to 10 days. Then after 10 to 12 days, our immune system generates an other form of the uh, antibody, which we call the immunoglobulin G. And the initial was known as the immunoglobulin M. Now, immunoglobul immunoglobulin M disappears after 10 to 12 days, but immunoglobulin G stays for a long period of time. Now, both of these immunoglobulin, they fight the virus. So whenever we get the antibody test, which costs us around uh, 2500 or 2000 rupees per test, and it is done by taking the blood as a sample. So when it is detectable or the patient's value is higher than the cutoff value, then it means that the immune system of the patient is working quite well. And it has generated or mounted an attack on the virus in the form of both the immunoglobulin M and immunoglobulin G. So it can be a qualitative test or a quantitative test, but quantitative test is always superior than the qualitative test because qualitative test can be falsely positive, can be falsely negative, but qualitative test is in majority of the cases is accurate enough to tell you if you have had an exposure to the virus and how well your immune system have been performing. So say if a patient gets an antibody test and it is positive, it means two things. The person has been exposed to the virus in the past. Secondly, the person immune system has fought well the virus. And if it is negative and the person had th thought that my symptoms are more of the COVID-19, then it can effectively rule, rule out that the symptoms which the patient was experiencing and patient haven't had the PCR test are not actually the COVID-19, but some other uh, routine influenza virus. So this is the upper side of the uh, uh, this uh, antibody test. So these two tests, these are very important. Always use PCR as the initial diagnostic test and always try to use the antibody test as uh, assessment of the immune, sy uh, immune system power and also the uh, to know about the past exposure uh, of the body towards the virus. Now the world is trying to use the antibody test to generate the immunity passport. That means if a person has got a positive antibody test, that it means that the person may be or there are higher chances person will be immune to the virus 
and will not be able to catch the virus in the future for some period of time. So these people can be uh, uh, given the immunity passport and these, these people will be able to uh, work in the fields. They will be able to go around in different markets because even if they are exposed, they will not be able to catch the virus and they will not be able to give the virus to anybody because they haven't got the living virus. Once you have got antibodies in your uh, system or in your body, there are highest chances that the virus will not be living or will be dead in your body. But PCR cannot detect between these two states of the virus. So I hope it gives you some idea between the PCR test and the antibody test. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video.